Okay, Hatty back boss. They're just showing that they're ready. They're gonna try to show off their best triangles, which really those are kind of rhombuses. Triangles are hard. Triangles are hard. I, I feel like circles are too easy and squares are too easy. We needed a better shape. This is like round four. <laughs> but okay. Uh, I think I was gonna shout if I think everybody's ready then. If we want to count her down, it's like 10 ish, 9 ish, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's cook! Sorry, I'm sorry, I caught you there. Uh, it's okay, here we go. Both teams are going at it. It is interesting to see they're uh, really sort of moving a lot of counters out of the way at the start. Getting a couple of extra seconds of time. I know some teams really try to rush to the start. I do like, uh, feel like by round four of the tournament, everybody sort of knows how they like to play this. Smart does have a lot of counters. Mm -hmm. That's a funny seed drops. Oh, yeah. Just after you get through. Uh, I mean, four rounds of this game, everybody knows, like, where the danger actually lies. So they got to be prepared from the beginning until, you know, usually day six, the, the killer day. Uh, I mean, I had a group that was like, day four was pretty killer for a couple, too. That's true, exactly. So, so set up on day one is even very important. Just with, with turbo mode, it's it's crazy. There is no rest. Yeah, I do like seeing that someone's actually in the dining room. You, you don't see it too often lately. Most people like, use one of the corners of the kitchen for the server. And they just uh, get that yeah, good that, split. It definitely has been the case in, in all the games I've watched. I, uh, Whiff from the Weirdos usually does all the, all the tables. Yeah, that people yeah. sort of have their role that they're good at and <laughs> yeah, exactly. a little hard to spot. <laughs> nice, so we're both coming towards the end of the day. And sweet. Yeah, look at those circles. Ooh. That's a real interesting first card. I haven't seen that in the tournament yet. To get larger groups. Oh, I don't. How do we think that's going to be with the dinner rushes? Or with all the rushes? Ah, huh? Oh, sorry. That's my other half. That's not good. <laughs> it did not He's... sound like you. He's doing some sort of racing. Oh, fine. Oh. It was a nice choice on that. Is it about the same amount of people? No. So they should be fine? Uh, or is it done based on groups? I think it's done based on groups. But uh, Double D would have had more. Her more groups, but they took bamboo. So their groups went down a little bit. Uh -huh. So uh, it might... I feel like the developer really changes how the calculation is done, or like he says he changes how it's done. So it's a little hard to tell sometimes. I know I round it to like about 80%, so you sort of add up the large in the middle, and you sort of get 80% of whatever the group counts are. It's sort of the rounded average to make your customers. So, or like 80% of the maximum to say. So like if they have groups of four and if it was like 12 groups of four, they should get about 80% of that. Okay. Uh, 
both in day two. Let's see, it looks like uh, weirdos. A little farther based on the timer, but I got a uh, pretty big cues. Just as we say that, uh, Trups kind of comes in and wings a couple times just to try to catch it up. <laughs> Having a little struggle on dishes, which I feel like a sink is a huge priority when you have groups this big. Oh, and unfortunately, it was a table of four, so they couldn't even sit down at that smaller one. <laughs> So uh, this is where all these extra counters are going to come in handy, but they do need some clean dishes to serve these customers. <laughs> okay, that's in the way, but that was a real close uh, reset there. They still got a little time, and or they still got a lot of time to say. Their first reset, there's still 54 minutes left to go. Oh, dishwasher. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's that, the... That's You guess I cut you off a little bit there. There you go. It's funny, it's a dishwasher versus a scrubby brush then. It's going to start going on a bit too. Hmm. There you go. Uh, double D's getting a little mashed potato action in. That's going to help with the bamboo stuff a lot too. To hopefully reduce that need. It's also weird that so many teams have put the blueprint inside rather than outside. Pushing through day three some more, but uh, display stands, interesting. I wonder if they're going to put a side on it or if they're just going to hope that they don't get a worse dish. Yeah, okay. The uh, dishwasher for these big groups definitely was a good purchase. Just the fact that it can even like hold all the plates. This one is just a flat, fancy plate rack. Hmm. I love the use of just the counters around it's like just such a huge benefit of being in the dining room is like you have all that would have been wasted space that you can just throw stuff that you don't need Uh, I was thinking of a kind of mean joke that uh, Whiff is really good at getting that like middle island piece 
Alfred is just struggling with a corner dishwasher. <laughs> it's just real funny to me. Go, ooh, getting toast to order. See, just like effortlessly grabbing that slice. Yeah, okay, they're catching up on day three. Ooh. Oh! Oh, Mandarin, so getting a starter. That does bring their group sizes down a bit. But it does make a fair bit more work that. I'm wondering who's going to be making the oranges. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I can. The oranges in the kitchen. Mm. Oh, yeah, not even accessible to him. Okay. Well, so... if you go all the way around to the left, it's accessible to mm. them. I don't, I don't know if I'd call that accessible. Now. If you got to go all the way around somewhere, right? But uh, let's see. Okay. Ooh, oh, Double D's getting some good luck. They just got bread as a starter. So, versus, uh, bread versus oranges? Like, <laughs> they're already baking it. Ah. There we go. Mandarin oranges is in a better spot now, I think. Which is good. Oh. I do like that teamwork trying to just set up a couple things with two of them. That's really smart. Okay, slices, uh, they took a rolling pin, a double D, that's an interesting choice. Uh, I mean, I'd say they've practiced the seed and are like preparing for something in the future, but like, we have no clue what's coming in the future. <laughs> so maybe they're just covering all their bases? There we go. There we go, there's some good use of the dishwasher. Okay, oh, we're gonna fill it before running it. It's kind of close out the door there. Ooh. Did both teams cutting it a bit close? Or not? Okay. Going for the reset there. Wonder if they're gonna try to get four tables in, or if they're gonna try to adjust how they are. So. Oh, this is an interesting strategy. I guess they're trying to see where they can try to put tables that won't be in the way too bad. Huh. 
So yeah, for sure getting all the groups of four in, because sometimes they'll just sit at the three tops. The, the groups of four is definitely what's hurting. I wonder if they could put like the dishwasher in a different spot too, or like they could try to put the counters down a bit maybe so there's a little less walk in the dining room. Just just trying to walk a table of four's dishes, it's real slow. <laughs> Mm. That sounds pleasant. Or half of them anyway. That would probably be a smarter solution than what I was thinking. But yeah, but uh, plating with the tray stand's tough. Got uh, breakfast toppings no matter what happens for double G's. They went for beans instead of tomatoes and uh, mushrooms. Here we go, here we go. Hi. Oh my god, they do have a frozen prep station too. That could be pretty good for a fair bit of what they have. Oh, they oh, just noticed two frozen prep stations today. Yeah, because they get duplicate. There's another reset there. Prep station. Oh. They did roll past a rotating grabber, but they didn't have enough money for it. Surprised that uh, last reroll. They didn't really have enough money to afford it. Okay, we are seeing the dishwasher in a more central location today. Mm. We'll say Whiff is really good at dodging the messes. You can see those just little walking towards the edges of the messes. Just so you, if you don't touch the middle, you don't get slowed. So, that's a lot of practice. I wonder what controller, Ozzy's controller, or mouse and keyboard. Uh, I feel like they're very turning or they're not very angled to say they got to be on controller because when you're on uh, keyboard i find you ha make a lot more sharp corners and like definitely would struggle with that middle wall in the way there a little more where you don't get that precise angle you might be looking for there you go double d's got some cute so it's not the happiest uh trying to but beans on all those toasts is for sure slowing them down a bit, but those prep stations are really helpful. <laughs> Oh. 
This is getting a little close. They've got someone inside. Oh. Yeah, between inside and outside. I don't know how double D's. Oh, they're going for it? Wow. I don't know if I was going to. I would not have gone for what double D just went for. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, yeah. And there they head back to HQ. <laughs> that was uh, pretty close between that uh, table missing the bread and outside. Like, uh, that was a uh, double against them. <laughs> go. We have 39 minutes to go. 39 minutes. There we go. Nicely done there, weirdos. Ooh, a choice between pizza and steak. It's going for pizza. I don't think either of them gave any customer bonuses. So, I feel like they made the right choice. Yeah, like, I really dislike steak. It's... Just generally... Yeah, sticks, not to say, it's not a bad food. It just doesn't really feel like it has a great benefit. And the fact that you have to add three options that you, to sort of pass back and forth in this rapid speed that you're going for, it's just so hard. Where pizza's little, pizza takes a little bit more time to prepare, but getting the four pieces and knowing that it's either they want a slice of bread or a slice of pizza is a way <laughs> easier choice. Oh, that, that safety hub is gonna will be nice. Oh, and a danger hub in the same day. Oh, they're going for a trace. They're going for trace stand gameplay here. See, yeah, they have the trace stand. They're going for an auto plater tonight, but they can't. I mean, hopefully they're going for an auto plater tonight. And let's see if they readjust well. Okay, there you go. Now, uh, moving the oven. Okay. I see. I'm confused what their plan is here. Also need the oil. Oh, they're gonna have a, the oil. They're gonna move to the sink, I guess, in the morning. Well, they could put oil on a the corner there too. They could just straight up pass them the oil, and the day starts. Looks like. Oh, and double D's heading back to HQ again. Oh, not as far as the last time, as last time, but close. Yeah. Oil in the sink. That was a really quick pizza. Wow. Yes, a bit of a benefit the way they have it currently. They could both technically make the pizza if they wanted to. It's just might be a little bit easier to make it outside the kitchen than inside the kitchen. And, uh, go. This one's looking all funny. It's big for a sec. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. 
Okay, we still got a fair bit of pizza slices around. I'm wondering if they're gonna try to move the phone if they have some time soon too. So the widows aren't really planning to call anybody anytime soon, I don't think. So it just seems in the way, and I noticed they've accidentally tapped it a couple times. at the double D's uh, and again nope <laughs> getting some good use out of that tray stand so there you go it's the uh, nice seeing both teams using a tray stand and to use a tray stand when you have a dishwasher is really convenient so you're gonna wait to do the dishes nope okay They're in a little trouble. The pizza's on the first slot, yeah. Oh. Heading back to the start. Okay. We've still got three, 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 three left. So 33 minutes and well, 20 seconds now. So we still got a fair bit of time. Uh, both teams heading back to HQ. I'm a little surprised teams aren't trying to move their save slot to just be that little bit closer and keep walking to the far ones. Okay. Some light adjustments going on with weirdos. I guess trying to... You can move the save slot? Uh, yeah. It, you click on whichever one you want it to save in. <laughs> the save system is a little, it's a little uh, secretive, I guess. I guess I don't really read read patch updates uh i don't know if it fully says in the patch update honestly i'm, I'm not the biggest reader i just kind of didn't know what it was originally from playing with it before it said anything about being saves so i kind of just kept playing with buttons until we could figure it out <laughs> you know just a little trial and error to, to learn some interesting ways to play the game oh Yeah. The uh, team Double D there been having it a little bit interesting where most of the start of their day everything just needs to be cooked slowly. So being able to get that research and copying done early has been pretty convenient for them as they wait for stuff to bake and roast. Oh. go got a good luck hockey puck that just got tossed out in the weirdos oh unfortunately the clean dish dishwasher got run again We'll see. They say Whiff moves a lot more gracefully without the tray stand in hand. I think it's throwing them off their game a little bit. <laughs> Just trying to find the little cracks. It's a little hard to tell when you're covering up where you are. <laughs> yeah, that was worth the reset to HQ. Oh, see, they did have their uh, save slot in the top right. There you go. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
we're halfway through. We got 30 minutes to go. Okay, that was a little close on serving that. They really wanted a lot of stuff on that uh, slice of toast. So we're having those display stands. I feel like they're going through a fair bit of beans. Okay. Gotta wait for the loaf of bread. Like uh, double D's getting a, I think they're getting a little bit of a teamwork advantage where uh, being in the same area, it's just giving them that chance to sort of rotate what they're doing, like both serving breadboards, and like uh, filling that downtime pretty well. Where I, I know that uh, they're making pizza there too, and the weirdos when they have a bit of free time. But it's. Just slightly out of the way looking more than the, what Double D has. Oh. Unfortunately, heading back in the headquarters, they got this though. They're getting a little farther feel on each time. So these slight little adjustments is really uh, helping them give that uh, advantage and really learning what they need to work on next. How long do I have left? They have 27 minutes and 10 seconds now. So. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oodles of time. But, uh, looking at some of those uh, posters that Double D's putting up. But uh, they went affordable, but they're not buying any affordable bins. So, I mean, I'm like happy for them, but I'm also disappointed in their wrong decisions on what a decoration is. Because uh, I know no, affordable bin is the best decoration. I think the only thing that comes second is the uh, Valentine's Day balloons. Because those are really fun to play with. <laughs> What about the dog? Because that's only the cheapest for two points. That's up there. Is it brand but manager? I mean, that dog just kind of like sits there, doesn't respond, doesn't know any tricks. But that's why you put it like at the back watching your automation. It makes your mm -hmm. automation go right. It's true, but like you, you can sacrifice to a pin. I don't know if you really want to sacrifice anything to the dog there. Going through the bread, okay. Ooh. Wow, that is a lot of oranges at the weirdos. You need three full oranges worth there. Beautifully done. Ah, 
they're heading back to HQ again. Okay. Here we go with 24.45 left. Just going for it. I mean, some RNG and orders and groups coming in. Wonder if they're thinking of any changes or anything, or if they're just hoping for a little more luck as the day goes on. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe they're both moving into the kitchen. Hmm. Yeah, it could be worth it. I know you sometimes. Sometimes it's worth taking a few tries that the same day and then maybe you gotta change it up a little bit just to help get you through. There you go. Yes. Uh... Oh, look at that. Three tables of four. Nice. Okay. Is the tray stand still in the area? That should eliminate a bit of walking. Okay, Double D is getting uh, double the safety hobs. Yeah. At least maybe they'll try to throw like a loaf of bread or something on it and it can just sit there for a while. Yo. There you go. Need a fair bit of prep time here. It also looks like they didn't fully cook the bamboo. Okay, I'm liking this remodel. Not sure if they want to. Tr if there's a better spot for the dishwasher, I don't know if it's worth swapping the dishwasher and the plates to negate that debuff. But like besides that, I feel like they're in a really good place. All right, they have all the cooking stuff close enough so both can reach now, and like they could put a fair bit of teamwork together. Double D just noticed the bamboo needed to be cooked. There we go. I think they're going for uh, back to HQ here. Oh, maybe not. I mean, it's kind of kind of close. Okay, yeah, they were heading back to HQ. Okay, <laughs> perfect. With 20 minutes and 30 seconds left. Giving those little panic times every time I see someone in the headquarters has been a really good way to remember to call out the time. There we go. Look at that. Whiff is just getting that quick service in and like right to the dishwasher. They really uh, cut their walking down to the tables. 
but they do have one less table that they can serve. Or, well, two less tables, I think, at one point, yeah. Oof. This is when you wish you have a specials menu. <laughs> uh, that amount of oranges is just straight up mean. But, uh... Funny thing, they should be able to literally pass down the oranges from where they're standing. And just pass them straight through, yeah, through that open window right to the table. Which is just kind of cool that you can, like, try to pass food through the customers to people. Instead of having to walk all the way around. They're having a fair bit of bad luck on these mandarin oranges today. I'll say that. Like, jeez. I don't know what these tables ordering three oranges each are for. But, uh. thing go can okay, they've uh, moved where they keep the bamboo now at double D that's interesting I guess maybe to try to free up a little bit of hob space but uh, I'm not sure Uh, heading back to HQ again. Okay, just under 18 minutes. to see what their plan of changing is here. Oh. That bread, the freezer's been pretty convenient to start off the days for sure. Just throwing the first one on the safety hob, the second one on the danger hob. Uh, that's just pure efficiency. Was that a double D's uh, lost a run? I believe so. It was uh, real quick all of a sudden. Uh, we can catch it. Uh -oh. See if I can grab it from the replay. Oh. Uh, that drops a mutant himself there. There you go. So, of course, you guys are playing a little risky near the end there. Mm -hmm. Well, it was risky to get through the day. We mm. needed one or two little things to get us through that day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The bread starter, man. That's just crazy. It's, it's really unfortunate. I don't know what the other card was, but. Uh, you that guys went, were going through a lot of breads there. Well, then I kept getting double breaded too. Almost every other one was double bread, which was annoying. See, no, we had oh. bread over. We had bread over. Oh, got you there at the end. Oh. And I take bread uh, over hands every time. Just... Yeah, but when you, like doing breakfast, you need bread anyways, you know. So it's like. What got you there? The oh, one table was tough. Ah, uh, sure. yeah, bread. bamboo was tough. It was a little hard to see when oh, it was I running out too. You guys uh, had me uh, screaming a little bit when you had that raw one just sitting on the hob. Because it's so hard to tell. <laughs> oh, they took fucking... Mm. Yeah, but... Uh, getting a little close. They've got just over 15 minutes. Yeah? Yeah. You guys had... Set. I feel like you had some pretty okay cards at the start. I know mash for all the sides. 
feel like mashed potatoes in this mode has been really fortunate for a lot of people. Where it's just that like early morning cook that you guys had to do and like that was it. Wait, did they die? No, they oh, were they heading back to HQ, yeah. yeah. It's been a tricky day. Oranges are tough too, man. Them starters are not oh. friendly. I try to stay away from starters at all costs. Uh, well, these mandarin oranges, uh, especially with these large groups, and uh, they've not been having great RNG. I don't know yeah, who they missed oh. off, but uh, some luck on these oranges has not been on their side. It's been like almost two full oranges a table, if not like three. How much time is left? Uh, there is 14 minutes now on the dot. Okay. Yeah, Monsu's thinking the only two starters that they would recommend to take would be crackers and bread. All the others are insanely bad. Mm. Crackers is definitely up there. It's a little hard because crackers do create a mess. So you gotta remember that every time they sort of pop a cracker open. They're gonna trash the place. Uh, look at that. I love the use of using the table to just break down their own orange. Yeah. Oh. Perfect. Unfortunately, they can't just split a four orange. They really gotta get their own twos and a bowls. Oh. They're, they're okay taking sides off each other's plates, but they can't take a little bowl of soup from the wrong person. A little orange slice. Oh. There we go. Yeah, a perfect amount of pizza left for that table. But, oh. Love the timing that you guys are having now. Juice the four orange. Close with the dishwasher here. Ah, uh, you're grabbing the extra plates, smart. So close there, but worth the reset with 11 11 on the clock. Just inching your way further each day. Getting that pizza done nice and early. The little bread slices on the danger hob. The uh, frozen prep full of toast has been really nice. And then just knowing that like you got four slices of pizza too. It was pretty convenient to be so close to those plates. Yeah, yeah, it's not. I didn't 
That's a good save on the loaf of bread. Hey, soccer, um, on the team on the right, do you know what day they ended on? Uh, end of six. I don't really want to say it out loud too early, but whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it down it somewhere, I think. Okay, there we go. We got a bit of time left. Uh, that was my fault for asking that. Oh, it's sorry. okay. Yeah. I just wasn't watching and I looked over. Yeah. I sorry. wasn't fully paying attention there. I was like I'm looking sorry. at something. <laughs> I had it in my mind, sorry too. <laughs> oh, oop, uh, they need that toast pretty quick here. Oh, oh no, that was a pizza, there we go. Yes! Everybody seated! Okay, there we go! See, inch by inch, just slowly each day is getting a little and little closer to it. <sighs> uh, okay, we got a lot of oranges going. It gives a little time to prep some pizzas and everything too if they needed. So, good idea to clean up these messes too. You guys got seven and a half minutes to go. Good, I put that back as there's a fresh pizza on the danger hob. Oh, wow, that is a lot of toast orders on that right table. Uh, one toast on the safety hub. See, I wonder if they're gonna if they're gonna try to fill the frozen prep or not. So I guess they have a little bit of time waiting for the dishwasher if they wanted to, or they have some fire dishes too, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Hey, uh, you guys got five minutes, 45 left to go. So. There you go. Ooh, coffee and mushroom pizza. Okay, coffee bunch of groups down a fair bit, which is good. So how's it going, soccer? Uh, it's going pretty well. We're just coming towards the end here. Ooh, okay. So, um, what, looks like we've got weirdos on the left, and is it boomer, yeah. clownery boomers on the no, right? No, that was uh, Double G's Dino Arena. Or uh, a couple of big D's. They've really changed names so many times. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. There you um, go. So, uh, they're just going for some rolls. I feel like they'll have this sort of 
That's his chance they don't have too much time to try to catch up, but just trying to get as far as they can. Uh, what, what, what day are, is everybody on? Uh, right now we have our weirdos are on day five prep. They're okay. just trying to organize themselves. So, and our double D's had sort of conked themselves out a little earlier. Oh. So uh, they conked themselves at day six. So uh, okay. it's not too are much time. Like six and a half. So they're in the lead right yeah. now. Okay. So they got a little lead, but not too far. So we'll see if they prepped it can get catch up fast enough. You said there's a uh, five minutes left. Uh, three minutes and fifty three seconds. Ooh, that'll be tight. That'll be so really yeah, tight. a little tight. There you go. But we believe. Yeah. Somebody's got to <laughs> knock drops out. Monica's <laughs> been wanting him to do a little uh, shout casting, and he keeps bragging in the shout casters thing, saying, "Oh, I can't shout cast right now." <laughs> I think it's an interesting choice that people are um, are opting to use the danger hob instead of the oven when they both cook at the same speed. Uh, I feel like it's the, the door. The door slows people down too much. The door. And you can also see with the danger hob, the oven you can't see how far it's along it is. That's true. I just think yeah. that like in this situation, the mess is a, a big issue. Hmm. Um, you don't want to be generating uh, a mess if you can uh, avoid it. Do they do have to say those spots on the sort of right side and around it? Because they're open, there's a chance that the mess will go to those over the spots they keep walking in, though. True. So I don't mind it. If a danger hub was like tucked in a corner really tight, then it's a lot worse. But like they have it so open, it's not so bad. <laughs> I'd almost say the bigger risk is the couple of fires that it uh, may have caused. Oh, yep, that's that's definitely an issue. <laughs> so, we're getting some good distance. So, a dishwasher for these big coops is just so handy. True. I feel like though when you're running dishwasher, you also need um, a dish rack to kind of combo with it, because you end up like getting uh, stuck, stocked up on dirty dishes. Well, I feel with big groups, it's almost worth trying to serve the dishes right out of the dishwasher first. That's fair. So like, That's totally even fair. if I have a small group, that I'll try to run the dishwasher as often as possible, just because it goes takes what like seven to ten seconds, I think, to run only. So, if I can serve a group every, like, 10 seconds, I should be okay. It's the pizza. They do need that far slice of toast. They oh, got a plate um... down. Oh, we're panicking now. Oh. Let's put the orange slice down anyway, yeah. There we go. We have a minute and 15 left. Uh, oh, I think that's why they're both. <laughs> what? Congratulations. Oh, so close. Okay, yeah. Pretty close. You guys can. Uh, I'm up. Keep to I'm up. You guys got like 50 seconds left. Okay. So. Well, does it, does it really matter? Like... <laughs> Not particularly, honestly, but you guys did really well there. You know, day four was real okay. tough. They got middle of six ahead of you. So, I'd give y'all a GG there for sure. I know those yeah. big groups was definitely tough. Oranges and big groups are not good. Oh, yeah. I feel like anytime I've seen someone take those mandarin oranges, they were just struggling because it's just... They're ordered so much, and it's so much work every time. Over soup, you kind of can split the work up a little bit better between portioning and oh, this time of even at me. Yeah, yeah it was Good. either that or like uh, the one where their patients are oh, yeah. really fast. When they mm. look at it. Oh, Victorian yeah. standards, yeah, which and affected you at the time. A giant group, it's yeah. like. 
Yeah, Victorian yeah. standards would have affected you at the time when you like picked the cards, but when you moved into the kitchen, Victorian standards doesn't look through windows. Doesn't? So that's why nope. it's such no, a I nice card. I didn't know that. Yeah, I feel like it's really not shared well. That makes no sense. Okay. Ooh. They don't I mean, like, they, can't they just like, they imagine that you crawl. They can throw <laughs> food through the window, but they can't see through it. Like, yeah. Just imagine you crawl. I feel like that's every time there's Victorian standards. No, no, no it wasn't Victorian. It was the um one where they lose patience when looking at you. Yeah, that's Victorian, Victorian standards. Oh, it is Victorian. Okay. Yeah, and they look in a cone shape too. It's such a funny cone. I don't know how he's done it. If anyone's ever gone through the testing of that, it's literally their eyesight is the best part. Yeah. So you could stand behind people. It's just really hard to get done properly. Yeah. So, good cave. It was. So, you guys had a lot of close calls there on that last groups, like the last one and two groups. They were really. Uh, Given some yeah, things. If we didn't order dessert, we would have yeah. cleared the table and been an issue, but yeah. Bruh. GG's, though. GG's? Good game. Well done. Mm.